They're very near the edge of the bubble the sun creates around itself called the heliosphere. We're getting very close to the boundary. We don't know how close because no spacecraft has ever been there before. But it could be another few months, it could be another few years, but it's probably not much longer than that. We travel a billion miles every three years. Humanity has always been fascinated by the sky above us and everything it has. Curiosity is one of humanity's strengths and will continue to be a prominent trait. Countless people have wondered what is beyond our world, and their inquiries have led to new discoveries about the universe. The universe is vast, and we know very little about it. But humanity is anxious to unravel its greatest secrets. Many missions, like the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Voyager, have been carried out to increase our understanding of the cosmos. However, if the stars had not aligned, two of the most remarkable spacecraft ever launched would never have launched. Researchers, some of whom are younger than the spacecraft, are actively exploiting Voyager data to solve riddles within and beyond our solar system. And recently, Voyager 1 came across something unusual. What is this most recent discovery? What challenges will these spacecraft face in the coming years? For decades, the Voyager 1 spacecraft has been on an incredible journey through the vastness of space, providing us with unprecedented insights into the cosmos. Every discovery made by this intrepid explorer has consistently pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Each new revelation, upon scrutiny by scientists, has proven to be not just real, but profoundly significant. However, Voyager 1 has recently presented us with another enigma, one that has caught the attention of none other than the renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. According to Tyson, Voyager 1 has made an astonishing detection. It has identified 500 mysterious objects passing through the cosmic void. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, prompting a re-evaluation of our understanding of space exploration. The 500 unidentified objects detected by Voyager 1 are a source of immense fascination. These are entities we have never encountered or identified before, completely new phenomena that defy our current understanding of space. This unexpected discovery challenges the conventional wisdom of what we expect to find out there. Voyager 1's launch in 1977 means that its onboard circuitry is approximately 45 years old, and it's reasonable to assume that aging components may not function as they once did. However, remarkably, this hasn't been the case thus far. Voyager 1's continued functionality owes much to its redundant computer systems. The spacecraft was equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, the Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and the Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystems. This redundancy has proven vital for the spacecraft's longevity. It allows for seamless transitions between systems and enables the activation of dormant computer components when needed, effectively preserving their lifespan. This approach has been pivotal in maintaining the operational efficiency of Voyager 1's computer systems. The spacecraft's power systems have adapted over the years, evolving to accommodate the changing power supply as it moved farther from the sun. The diligent management of power resources has played a pivotal role in sustaining Voyager 1's remarkable journey. In light of these developments and the astonishing detection of the 500 unidentified objects, the scientific community is faced with a new and profound mystery. This recent revelation is a testament to the incredible capabilities of human-made spacecraft and their capacity to challenge our understanding of the cosmos. The management of power resources is nothing short of pivotal in ensuring the sustained operational capabilities of Voyager 1's computer systems. On board this venerable spacecraft, power is a finite and precious resource, and engineers have employed a range of ingenious measures to not only conserve it, 
but to optimize its utilization. These measures are a testament to human ingenuity and the meticulous planning that goes into maintaining the spacecraft's mission longevity. One of the most notable aspects of power management is the selective powering down of non-essential systems. This is a strategic decision that engineers make with utmost care, given the limited power resources available on board. The approach is systematic. Engineers methodically identify and deactivate components or subsystems that, while perhaps valuable in normal circumstances, are not vital for achieving the primary mission objectives. A case in point is the deactivation of heaters associated with specific science instruments. Originally designed to regulate the temperature of these instruments and ensure their optimal functioning, these heaters are now powered down. By doing so, power consumption is significantly reduced, resulting in the extension of the spacecraft's overall lifespan. However, this is not a decision taken lightly. Rather, it is the result of a meticulous evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific goals of the mission. In addition to selective power reduction, engineers have also implemented adaptive power management strategies that respond to the ever-changing conditions of Voyager 1's environment. As the spacecraft journeys farther away from the Sun, the availability of solar energy naturally diminishes. To adapt to this reality, the spacecraft adjusts its power usage accordingly. This adaptive approach ensures that available power resources are allocated efficiently to support critical operations and data transmission. As it traverses the boundless cosmos, Voyager 1 relies on an intricate and remarkable system of communication, the Deep Space Network, DSN. This network stands as a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess, allowing NASA to maintain vital contact with spacecraft, venturing to the farthest reaches of our solar system and beyond. At its core, the primary mission of the Deep Space Network is to establish and sustain two-way communication between Earth and these intrepid deep space missions. However, its role extends far beyond mere data transmission. The DSN also serves as a platform for conducting radar and radio astronomy observations, casting its gaze upon the cosmos to deepen our understanding of the universe's profound mysteries. What makes the DSN even more extraordinary is its collaborative nature. It is not solely a NASA endeavor. Instead, it engages in cooperative efforts with various space agencies worldwide. This spirit of international cooperation creates a unified front in humanity's quest to explore and investigate the wonders of the cosmos. The Deep Space Network consists of three strategically located deep space communication facilities. These facilities are found in Goldstone, California's Mojave Desert, Madrid, Spain, and Canberra, Australia. This geographical arrangement ensures uninterrupted coverage and observation of spacecraft, even as our planet rotates. Consequently, the DSN stands as the world's most expansive and advanced scientific telecommunication system. At the heart of the DSN's communication capability are colossal radio antennas stationed at these facilities. These imposing antennas serve as the conduits through which radio waves journey between Earth and the distant spacecraft. Although there is this 22-hour time delay, which introduces unique challenges for mission control teams, it necessitates meticulous planning and the precise execution of commands. Errors or issues can result in additional delays and complications, especially when investigating anomalies, such as the one experienced by Voyager 1. Yet despite these challenges, the Deep Space Network stands as an exemplar of human achievement in space exploration. It is a testament to our ability to conquer vast cosmic distances and unravel the secrets of the universe.
one data transmission at a time. The underlying cause behind the AACS, Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, inexplicably redirecting telemetry data to an incorrect computer remains shrouded in mystery. While investigations are ongoing, it is suspected that the AACS might have received an erroneous command from another onboard computer. However, the exact trigger for this event continues to elude even the most astute minds at Mission Control. Within the vast expanse of space, the environment presents itself as an unforgiving and unpredictable adversary for spacecraft, like Voyager 1. A multitude of cosmic challenges, including cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroid impacts lurk in the cosmic void, posing potential threats to the delicate electronic systems aboard. Cosmic radiation, a relentless barrage of high-energy particles, originating from distant stars and celestial sources, permeates the space between galaxies. These particles, which include protons and cosmic rays, possess the ability to penetrate spacecraft structures and interfere with the proper functioning of electronic components. The impact of intense radiation can manifest in various ways, from causing electrical disruptions to altering data signals and even inducing memory errors or data corruption. There's another fascinating possibility to consider about the Voyager 1 anomaly. What if it wasn't just a computer glitch? What if something or someone intentionally turned on the old computer? Yes, we're talking about the possibility of extraterrestrial life, aliens. Imagine there's an incredibly advanced alien civilization out there, far more advanced than us humans. These extraterrestrial beings might possess super advanced technology and a deep understanding of space exploration. Voyager 1 has journeyed so far from Earth that it's now in a region of space we can't even reach or explore. It's conceivable that it has entered the territory of these distant aliens, aliens we may never have a chance to meet. Now picture this. Voyager 1 is on its mission to collect more data, as it's designed to do. Along the way, it stumbles upon this alien civilization and tries to learn more about them. However, instead of just gathering data, Voyager 1 might have gotten more than it bargained for. It's possible that these aliens, out of curiosity, or for some other reason, took control of the spacecraft. This could explain why the computer seemed to malfunction. Maybe it wasn't a malfunction at all, but rather a discovery, an encounter with beings from another world. But how would we ever find out if such a remarkable event had occurred? The key lies in the way Voyager 1 communicates. You see, Voyager 1 relies on NASA's deep space network to talk to us back on Earth. This network includes three stations on Earth, each with a big, powerful antenna that Voyager 1 uses to send and receive radio signals. These antennas are always aimed at Earth, ensuring a strong connection. So while we can't be sure if Voyager 1 encountered aliens, we do have the tools and data to investigate this incredible possibility further. It's like a cosmic detective story with our trusty spacecraft as the star of the show. Now about the strange computer message. Some folks think it might not be a mistake at all. It could be the spacecraft telling us about 500 things in space we didn't know about before. Considering all the amazing things Voyager has discovered, it wouldn't be crazy to think it might also tell us that aliens are out there and they're not afraid to talk to us through our technology. We're eager to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments below. If you found this video informative and captivating, don't forget to show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next exploration of the mysteries of the universe.